Welcome back to Crack the Kiosk series with me Kavya Tendral. If you have not subscribed our channel, do subscribe for more interesting videos like this. And also don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will receive a daily video notification. In today's session, we will be seeing about how easily we will remember the Erlanger Gasser classification of nerve, nerve fibers from nerve muscle physiology. This video is actually aimed at to remember the classified nerve fibers function rather than the classification per se. Here we have added the Erlanger Gasser classification as well the numerical classification of sensory nerve fibers. In Erlanger classification, it is A, B and C groups of which A and B is myelinated, C is unmyelinated. And the diameter of fibers decrease from A to C, that is A is larger and C is the smaller. Under A, we have A alpha, beta, gamma, delta fibers. B is pre-ganglionic sympathetic and C is post-ganglionic sympathetic. C also has a root for called a dorsal root. Let us now see the fibers of A. First is A fiber, we have A alpha. This alpha is similar to something that is we write in letter S. So, let us take somatic, a trick to remember, so somatic motor for alpha, somatic motor plus also it is proprioception, somatic motor plus proprioception, in proprioception you have two things, one is from the muscle spindle and another is from the Golgi tendon body. Next we go for A beta, we know A is the first letter and we will take B from beta. In skin the first layer is epidermis and one layer in the epidermis which starts with B is stratum basal. In stratum basal we have one cell called the Merkel cell and we know the Merkel cells are, are responsible for pressure detection and thus the nerve fibers thereby A beta receptors the nerve fibers are detecting pressure as well touch. Next is A gamma. When we are writing two lines or when you write put two lines side to this gamma it becomes an M and thereby it is motor to muscles. Next is A delta. When you try to uh, bring this symbol of delta to, uh, out like that it becomes a C like this and a broken O. We will reconstruct this C O with L D so that it becomes cold. Yes, A delta is the fiber which is detecting the cold temperature plus fast pain. When we are suffering from cold, we will sometimes shiver and the shivering is very fast like Ooh. so it is cold pain, a cold temperature and fast pain. At last is the dorsal root, dorsal root is exactly opposite from A delta, A delta is cold, dorsal root is hot temperature detection. A delta is fast pain detecting and C fibers are that is dorsal root C fibers are slow pain detecting. Now we will remember this uh, in nerve endings it is annulo spiral we know per annum is one one so this alpha is similar to one petal so we'll remember like annulo spiral one beta it is like a flower with more than one petal so like i will draw another petal like this and petal like this it becomes a flower thereby beta fibers have flower spray endings let us now see the fibers that are susceptible to some condition. First on the list is pressure, hypoxia and local anesthesia. We know in a pressure cooker the pressure is going to increase in a very gradual way. So we will remember like this. The pressure susceptibility is first is A and then B and the C. Thus the alphabetical order it goes. Next is hypoxia. Hypoxia is decreased perfusion and as there is decreased perfusion the cell will be lagging behind going back from the normal metabolic state and thereby it is 
back will remember like BAC back at last the remaining is local anesthesia it is local anesthetic drug anesthetic C is ending so it is C B and A this order is going like this fibers are more susceptible and this fibers are least susceptible thank you so much for your patient listening